Hi everyone, it's Ro here from NAC with a short how-to video. NAC is a great fit for tracking activity on a single record, so today we're going to show you how to add commenting or note tracking workflow to your app. So what does note tracking workflow mean? Let's say you have a project where you want to share general comments or notes about the project with collaborators or team members, or let's say you have a customer that you want to keep track of your interactions. Whether it's comments on a project or interactions with a customer, the way you set this up in NAC is the same. So let's go ahead and jump over into our builder and start building this out. Now we've already got our, our objects set up and our user role set up, but let's kind of do a quick overview. We've got our customer object that's going to be collecting information about the customer. In our case, we just have the customer name, but feel free to add any other fields that you want to add here. We also have our notes object that is collecting information about the, the note or the comment that's being made uh, based on that interaction. So we've got a date field and we have the note and comment field. We also have our user roles enabled and we have our team members object set up or user role set up so that we can have add users to the system so that they can log in and view these comments and add notes. So I'm going to jump back into our notes object because we're missing a couple things. In order to relate this note back to our customer, we need to add our connection field. So in NAC, if we've got a parent object, which is our customers, and we have the notes object, which is going to be our child object, uh, how do we relate those two? we use a connection field. So I'm going to go ahead and add this new connection by clicking the green plus button over here. We're already set on customers, so I'm going to click next. 90% of the time you need one to many. Each note connects to one customer. Each customer connects to many notes. So we're going to add that connection. I'm going to add one more connection as part of this workflow, and that's the connection to my user role, my team members, because we want to know who had the interaction with the customer in this use case. So I'm going to add, add to my um, green plus button again, and I'm going to select now my team members uh, user role, and I'm going to click next, and again, one to many should work fine, and I'm going to add that connection. So now when a note gets added, it will get connected to a customer and it will also get connected to a team member so we can know who made the comment. Um, so once that's done, once that's in place, we're going to head over to our Pages tab and actually start building out this workflow. So one of the things I mentioned right at the top is being able to uh, put this behind a login so our team members can log in and add comments and notes uh, to the customer records or customer uh, um, profiles. So we're going to limit this to our team member roles. We're going to add that new page and limit to the team members. We're going to click continue and I'm just going to call this my team member dashboard. And the first thing we want our team members to see when they log in to the page is a table of all the customers in the system. So I'm going to choose my table view. I'm going to choose my customers. And we can add an edit link if we want. We can add a details page if we want. Uh, this can also be added um, at another step. But for right now, I'm just going to show a link to view more details about the customer. And it's going to be on this view details page where all the magic will happen where we're adding the comments and the notes to the customer's profile. So I'm going to leave everything here as is and add my table. And that's it. I'm automatically taken to the settings for my table. So if I want to make any changes to uh, the source or settings or add columns, I can do that here. Everything looks good here. So I want to get to this view details page and, and start adding some things. So I can click here or I can head um, back and I will see this new page created in my left hand here on the left hand side panel. So now I'm going to click on my customer details page and you'll see on the customer details page I just have the customer name and nothing else. So how can we add these other views to the page? Again we'll see our add view option here and because we have the connections in place we're able to add a table to show our notes and NAC will say hey let's add those notes that are connected to this 
particular customer record. So it does that for you automatically. We'll click continue and again you have those options to add those links there. We're good so I'm going to click continue and we're going to go ahead and add that table. Again, I'm in the settings here if I want to make any changes, which I do. I want to head to my source and I want to make sure the sort order is in date order from, from newest to oldest note. So I'm going to select my date field and make sure my sort order is going to show these in the order that I want them to. And that's it. I'm going to save the changes. And now we've got our page that's starting to shape here. We've got our details and our notes. The one last step that we'd want to do here is add the, the commenting workflow. We want to be able to make a comment or add a note. So we'll go again, head to our add view option and we can select our form option here. You'll see the notes pop up because we've got a connection set up with the notes. Um, and this is going to allow us to add a new note record that is connected to the page's customer. So again, we're back is setting you up to uh, successfully connect this record the newly added note record to the customer. So we're going to head, go ahead and click continue. Now you'll see this checkbox here. It'll allow you to add a menu option there or you can uncheck it and just show the form. It's entirely up to you how you want to do this. I am a menu button. I want to see a button there to add that note. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that box checked and add my form. So again, I can edit this if I want to further, but all looks good. So I'm going to back out of that. One thing I want to do is move this around so you have the option to move the menu button around. I want it just below my details, but above my notes table. So one last thing that we need to do is we needed to add, we need to edit or make any changes to our add note form, uh, which is just below, it's cascading below our customer details page. So on this note form, a couple things we, we can, can do to clean this form up. Uh, obviously we want to capture the date, we want to capture the note. We don't need the customer field because again this form is inserting a new note record connected to this page's customer so I'm going to go ahead and remove that and then we have our team member we don't want to have to choose from a drop down menu to then be able to add you know choose the member so there's a way you can set this up behind the scenes so it automatically drops in the logged in team member and that is with um, a record rule and you'll find those uh, by backing out of the settings here and you'll see a rules option here that's going to allow you to do some specific workflows that automatically trigger actions in the background based on um, whatever you set here um, as your criteria. But we're going to head to our record rules tab and uh, again we're going to add a rule that is going to set that team member to our logged in team member. Again we have that connection in place so it allows us to do some things like that automatically without touching the record at all or having to go through a drop down and find uh, the name to assign that note to. We can just set it up in the background. So again we're just updating this record whenever it submits we're going to assign that value uh, to the logged in team member. And one more rule that I'd like to set before I save my changes is I like to redirect back to the parent page. So I like to set a submit rule which gets triggered when you um, submit the form. You can reload the page but you can also um, redirect back to the parent page. So head back to your customer details page and see all the notes. Uh, in one place. Um, you can redirect to an existing page or a URL or back to a child page. I'm going to redirect back to my parent page and save my changes. And uh, that's it. And we've got our team dashboard now where they can log in. They can see their uh, customers in the system. They can then click on customer details and see details about that customer and any notes being um, added there and they can even add a note uh, if they want. Um, we've got this one page here. I'm going to go ahead and remove it. We don't need it to clean up our app a little bit. So let's test this out in the live app. We're going to head to our team member dashboard and I am going to log in with the, the test details that I set up. 
and I now see my two customers in the system and I can click on a customer and add a note. And when I hit submit, I should be redirected back to my customer details page where I now can see my new note. And again, we can head back and do the same thing with our other customer. Excellent. All right, hopefully this answers uh, your questions or uh, gives you an idea on how you would set up these interactions or add notes to your app. Again, this configuration can be applied to many other workflows, uh, projects and notes, projects and tasks, tasks and comment on your tasks, courses and feedback, products and reviews. Uh, the options are endless. Uh, the workflow works the same. It's really about those connections uh, that we talked about here in the one child object where we're adding that connection back to the customer record and the, the team member that sets that up for us to be able to build out our pages in a way that we can create these nice workflows. So hopefully that was good information for you guys. Thanks for joining me today. Bye everyone.